Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a band website in Adobe Muse. So what I want to do is, is I want to show you what, what you have to do when you fill with more content a template. So I'm using this template, it's called Band One Page, and you can find the link to purchase the template in our description. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to fill up a little bit more of the content so the pages will be a bit longer and I'm going to show you what adjustments you have to do, alright? So for example, in the first section, what I want to do is I'm going to add another embedded sound player, SoundCloud player, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the rest of the template and I'm going to bring it down, let's say around here. So let's visit SoundCloud. So once you've chosen your music, your own player or you know whatever you want to share let's go to share and go here to embed and here you can actually choose the size so let's say I'm going to live into 300 and let's copy the code so let's bring it to Muse and then we select object insert HTML and just paste this. Okay, so I'm just going to make it a little bit wider. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste it here. Now, let's go to MySpace and let's do the same thing. So, whenever you've chosen your songs here, what you have to do is click on sorry, click on this icon over here and go to link and embed. So you just have to copy this frame here. Copy it and do the same thing. Bring it to Muse and select object, insert HTML. Copy the code and click on OK. Alright, so I'm going to bring it here. And let's copy others. So copy the code and bring it here. So you can actually do this as many times as you want. So I just want to show this is the last one I'm going to paste. So just leave it over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this part over here a bit up like here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, going to set some more dates. So I'm just going to copy over here. To copy this, you can click on Ctrl C or Command C and paste it with Ctrl V or Command C or just click on Alt so it will copy. Alright, so here's where you can actually edit the dates easily. Okay. Just as an example. Okay, so let's see what we can do now. All right, so I'm going to leave this like that. So first thing that we have to do is we have to get the anchor links right now. Remember we are in the biggest breakpoint. We have to actually edit how it looks in the other Breakpoint. So we've got discography, that's the first anchor link and it looks okay. And now we've got 
concerts so it's a bit way too down there so I'm just gonna leave it up here and we got here our contact so we're gonna leave it here okay so what we gotta do now is go to your other breakpoints and as you see we have to edit the size here in the size and content I'm gonna select approximately what we change which is from starting from here I'm gonna bring it down right click and go to copy size and position to the next breakpoint which is 1200 okay so we'll just have to make some minor adjustments in this breakpoint okay so first of all we're going to center it like that and bring it up here a little bit so again select this part over here and do the same with next breakpoint copy size and position to 1000 so let's go to that breakpoint And we'll just need to meet to make minor adjustments. I'm using fixed breakpoints in this template, so remember this is your safe area. So whatever's going on in here, whenever your your browser resizes, it will be safe. So make sure you are inside your safe area, so start resizing. Now I'm going to adjust this over here. And I'm going to bring this down. Okay, and so on. So now we're going to the other. And we're going to bring all the content down and rearrange it. We select, I want to select everything here. Copy size and position to the smallest breakpoint. So let's visit it now. And just readjust it. Okay, so I'm going to resize this. And now I can see I actually have four sliding boxes because the thing is that what I did is is um, I'm gonna hide it here because the size is different it wouldn't fit this breakpoint so just select it right click and say hide in breakpoint so it will disappear and the small sliding box will be here with the same settings as the other ones it's just the size which is different so I will continue
resizing everything. Okay, so we're done readjusting. So what we're going to do is we're going to preview the page and we're done. So just as a reminder, what I did, because I'm, oh, I'm going to fast forward, I fast forwarded, sorry, all the parts because I was, it was a bit slow. So, okay, so we're going to preview this now and I'm going to show you what, what it looks like. So what we did is we made some sections bigger. So we added more players and we added more dates. So we had to make adjustments in every single breakpoint and we had to move the anchor links too. So let's make sure everything works okay here. Oh, this is not previewing now. Okay. But dates and everything are looking okay. Let's see in other breakpoints. Let's make this a bit smaller. And exactly. So I'm going to see if it takes us to concerts great and let's see if it takes us to contact in smaller breakpoints exactly that's what I wanted okay guys so hope you liked the tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching